Welcome back to the Brennick Channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about the river system in Louisiana, Mississippi, and the distance between the Atchafalaya and the Mississippi River is a lot closer than five miles as reported before by me. So stick around. <music> Welcome back to the Brennick Channel. Today we are going to be talking about the flood risk coming up with this potential hurricane that's getting ready to form. It's a tropical depression berry right now and it could become hurricane berry by Saturday, Sunday. And it's not good news for anybody involved. Check out this, what I recorded earlier about Red River Landing. So here we go. So if they get all this rain like they're calling as you if they get all this rain that they're calling for and that that levee gives way but you got to remember this levee is extremely high so they know that because they know there's a creek there that goes to the Chafalaya. but if but there's other lower spots that are a little bit closer so we go down this let's just go down this highway and see what the level is 60 70 60 4 66 and so on and so forth if this was here's 56 and that's right on there 58 51 right there so let's click from there to there to that creek and see how far away that is it's two and a half miles not quite five but how far is it actually from the river the rivers itself so if you click to the edge to the edge 3.34 miles it's not five miles so I was wrong, I apologize for that, but I just wanted to clarify that. Now, the Morganza Spillway, they would try to counter that by, by turning the Morganza Spillway on, which, here's Red River Landing. Morganza Spillway, ladies and gentlemen, is right there. So, all this right here is already completely high, so what they do is they let this go, and as you can see, there's a channel, and... Morganza goes from all this floodway from here basically all the way to the spillway which is eight miles away so that's eight miles away and up here is only a few miles away like we talked about this is probably the closest spot and it's only 3.3 miles away roughly so less than three and a half miles away in the Morganza spillway they would do that to try to drop the level and they would open every bay and they said that they did that one year and it it basically it basically dropped the level almost four foot in a matter of a day so it's possible if they would do it but if they wait around to find out they have the problem is they have to inform everybody that they're going to be using that and it's a big ordeal they they all have to worry about it and whatnot so so as of right now, this is the current data that I have, and it has it going up, and it'll be a hurricane when it hits, and then it'll be a depression as it goes up, but there's still several inches of rain that's going to fall. Here's the current radar that I got. As you can see, it's starting to form, circulate right here. Now, will it continue to move west, or is it It's starting to build up like here? It's coming up from the south. Rain's coming down from this cold front from the north. Will it continue to push to the west? Or will it really start to go up? To me, it looks like it's moving to the west. If it, that continues, that's going to be really good news for New Orleans. Not so good news for Houston. But we'll definitely keep an eye on that and see what happens. As the circulation's right here, you can almost see the whole radar. But it's just a depression right now. It's not a... It's not a hurricane yet, so we'll definitely keep an eye on it. Now back to the river. We will go over here to Red River Landing and see what the level is. Let's check what Red River Landing is right now. As we go down here, Red River Landing. Like I said, this is this is the Atchafalaya. This is what I was talking about only three miles away, right on that bend there. But Red River Landing is at go down here is at 59.6 feet and it was it's falling but it's really supposed to tell off over the next few days 
It might even get down below moderate. That's before a hurricane comes. Now with this hurricane coming, who knows how high that would be. And if you come over here, you can see what these gauges are. The red is moderate flooding, so that's what that is. This green right here at Simsport, that is no flooding. And let's go in and see what the level is. Now the level, the good news is the Atchafalaya is not flooding, but if you get both of these flooding, that could be worst case scenario. The uh, level is at 37.9. Usually one floods, but not the other. But with a hurricane coming, possibly, and right now it's a tropical depression, there's a good chance that this could become flooding as New Orleans was two days ago was in the green. Now look at it. It's in the red. It got eight inches of rain the other day. Now it's not quite there yet, but it's supposed to spike up to 19 feet. It's what they're saying. So we'll see if that comes to pass. It's a possibility. But with this... With this hurricane forming out here about 80 miles south of New Orleans, there's a good possibility. And if it goes straight up like they're talking, that's going to be a bad day for New Orleans, not only Baton Rouge, but the Red River Landing. And if it if the Atchafalaya comes up, that's going to be bad. If it comes to purple and this comes to purple, game over. We will definitely keep an eye on it at New Orleans and Baton Rouge and Red River Landing and anywhere else that this hurricane may go. We'll keep a track of it and make sure everybody's safe or at least aware. If you hadn't heard, if you're living under a rock, it's time to kind of be notified and informed. And the rest of you guys inform everybody else by liking, sharing, and letting all your friends know to check this stuff out because this is serious. It could be devastating for Louisiana and possibly Texas and Mississippi. So you guys have a blessed day, and we'll be back tomorrow with another video. Much love. Peace.